بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله سبحانه وتعالى states in سورة البقرة chapter 2 155-157 وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إن لله وإن إليه راجعون أولئك عليهم صلوات من ربهم ورحمة أولئك هم المهتدون نعم نعم and certainly we shall test you with something of fear hunger loss of wealth lives and fruits but give glad tidings to as-sabirin the patient and perseverant ones who when afflicted with calamity they say truly to Allah we belong and truly to him we shall return they are those on whom are the salawat the blessings from their Lord and they are those who receive his mercy and it is they who are the guided ones now if you go to the book which you think belongs to Ali bin Abi Talib which is known as Nahj al Balagha you will find there that Ali radiallahu anhu said whoever strikes his hand on his thigh at the time of calamity then his deeds are rendered invalid end of quote and it is related in a book which is also very close to you you can find in one of the reference bookstores of yours the book of Man La Yahduruhu al which is uh, written by Abi Ja'far Muhammad bin Babawayh Al-Qummi he related that Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu said teaching his companions لا تلبسوا سوادا don't put on black clothes فإنه لباس فرعون because it is the clothes of فرعون فيرو and this is also reported by الحر العاملي in his book وسائل الشيعة volume 2 page 916 and القمي in volume 1232 And in one of the tafsirs, book of tafsir, known as tafsir al-Safi, concerning the saying of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Mumtahina, verse 12, Surah Al-Mumtahina, page 12, وَلَا يَعْصِينَكَ فِي مَعْرُوفِ طيب, مشان. Surah 60, 12 وَلَا يَعْصِينَكَ فِي معروف That they will not disobey you in any ma'roof than, than accept their pledge That the Prophet ﷺ in the tafsir Which is known as tafsir al-Safi With the Shia That the Prophet ﷺ gave the pledge for the women That they should not that they should not put black clothes nor there they should tear apart clothes nor they should wail and sh- they should not yell asking for destruction on themselves and in the book which is considered to be a reference to you which is the book of Al-Kafi by Al-Killini that he the Prophet وسلم, admonished Fatima radiallahu anha that if I die don't scratch a face and don't let your hair 
grow. I mean, let it grow uh, because of me. Rather, we rephrase this. And don't wail on me. And your Sheikh Al-Qummi related that it is from the statements of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which no one had mentioned before him that النِّيَاحَ min عَمَلِ الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ that wailing is from the acts of Jahiliyyah of pre-Islamic era so now after this of course there are many quotations but we want to be very brief after all of this why do you oppose all of that in your actions whom should we believe the messenger and the household or the mullahs your mullahs and if this act of beating oneself with the chains which is and, and uh, shedding the blood from the head by knives and swords which you do if this as you claim this has a lot of reward why these mullahs they don't do this and leave it for you only to do? 